Lawyers for Young Thug are calling for a mistrial after a key witness in the case refused to testify against the rapper. Now Kenneth Lil Woody Copeland is being held in contempt of court as the trial resumes this morning in Atlanta. ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer is here with more on that. Brian Copeland pleaded the filth despite being granted state immunity for anything he testified to. And he was expected to testify against Young Thug. So what does this mean for the trial now? That's the big question, Diane. Copeland is supposed to be the major witness for the prosecution connecting uh, Young Thug or Mr. Williams to this case. He's supposed to be the one that's going to tell the, the jury that Young Thug um, rented out a vehicle for him to do a drive-by and connecting him to this entire RICO uh, case. It's supposed to be their biggest uh, witness against Young Thug, but without him testifying or, or pleading the fifth, and we expect him to do the same this morning, uh, the question is what happens to their case against him? Now, the defense called for a mistrial after Copeland pleaded the fifth in front of the jury. What's the strategy there? Yeah, so no attorney, whether you're a prosecutor or defense attorney, can put on a witness in front of the jury knowing or suspecting that that witness is going to plead the fifth. It's because there's an, an innate uh, sense of bias uh, that harms the defendant or even the prosecution at times. Think of it this way. Copeland pleads the fifth. The prosecution throughout this case has said that he was part of Young Thug's criminal mastermind to do this drive-by against one of the victims who was actually murdered in connection to this case. Now Copeland pleads the fifth. What's the jury to believe? And there's no correction that a judge can cure uh, in saying, well, don't look into it that he pled the fifth. Uh, just keep moving along. Now, this trial has been going on, Brian, since January 2023. So what are you watching for next and how much longer do you expect it to go on for? It, it really depends on, on, on Copeland. If he takes the stand again and pleads the fifth, and, and, and I slightly disagree with the prosecutor and the judge here because it, let's be clear, He's got immunity from state prosecution. That doesn't mean that the feds can't be watching his testimony, potentially have an investigation based on that. And I think that's part of his fear, along with just the, the fear of being out in the streets and being a snitch if you're involved in gang activity. Um, but if he doesn't testify against Young Thug in a way that the prosecution has, has, has said that they, he would, the question is, are they going to continue with the case against Young Thug? Are they going to have a, a trial or dismissal because they can't prove a, a serious element against him in this drive-by shooting that led to a murder? So I'm watching to see this morning as to whether or not Copeland pleads the fifth or he testifies the way the prosecution wants him to. All right, Brian Buckmeyer, thank you.